How are you doing? Good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I love this job. <laughs> the most rewarding job I ever did, I used to work with adults with learning difficulties. I used to work in Weatherspoons. <laughs> Very challenging. <laughs> so I've been with my girlfriend for eight years. Uh, it's a long time, eight years, but we're not ready for children yet. You know, we don't want any kids just yet. Which, I'll be honest with you, does upset our kids. <laughs> it's not ready for the commitment, guys. <laughs> yeah, chill out. We've got three kids. That's a lot of kids, isn't it? That's a lot of kiddage. <laughs> she wants another one. She wants another baby already. You know, I don't think her parents are ready to take on another one. <laughs> They're barely managing at the moment, you know? I don't know how they cope. So strong. <laughs> well, I swear in front of my kids as well. I don't give a fuck. They're just words. My parents swore in front of me loads. Right, and I don't think the impact was that significant. <laughs> my kids are bright to me, it's awkward, it's embarrassing. Like my daughter Verity, she's six years old and she's learning about metaphors in school. Don't know if that's crazy, she's six and she's learning about metaphors. Right, that's like getting a tomato. And she's also doing a... <laughs> She's also doing a spelling bee at the moment. You know those American spelling tests? Right, she comes home the other day, right, and she's like, Dad, can you help me go through the spelling bee? I'm like, yeah, no problem. I'm like, okay, Verity, your word is ionize. She's like, okay, um, could you put it in the sentence for me, please, Dad? <laughs> your word is ionize. <laughs> I know you shouldn't have a favourite child, right, but my daughter Verity has got this friend called Amy. <laughs> who's hilarious. It's just a joy to be around. <laughs> but I became a dad pretty young, though. I was 17 when I became a dad. That's pretty young, isn't it? Right, I had to grow up and I had to change my attitude and I had to change my vocabulary as well. Right, and I'm not even nearly there yet, I keep discovering. Now, I've realised I've got issues in areas that I didn't even have areas before. Like, the other week, I took my six-year-old daughter to the doctor's because she had a water infection. Like, when she went to the toilet, it stung her a bit. Right, and I'm explaining to the doctor what's the matter with her. As I'm explaining to the doctor what's the matter with her, my brain sort of caught up with my mouth, right? And I realised that I don't know what to call her vagina. <laughs> to the doctor, like, I just didn't know what... Like, she calls it a minky moo, right? <laughs> I couldn't say that, and I had nothing, and I started to panic. And I went completely blank, and in the panic, I almost said pussy. <laughs> to leave town. <laughs> I managed to find a medium anyway, and I just went with Minge. <laughs> My uh, eldest son is 15, 15 years old. They're all dicks, aren't they, man? What's the matter with them? <laughs> but you worry about what they're up to at that age as well, because they're out a lot with their mates and stuff. Like, the other day, I caught him trying to buy a cigarette lighter. Yeah, bearing in mind that my dad, or his granddad, as he knows, recently died of lung cancer. You know? And I said to him, I said, Robbie, you could just have granddad's old lighter. <laughs> it's a quality Zippo, man. <laughs> like, I can't even... I can't read and write that well. Like, I see words and letters jumbled up. And I don't know if it runs in the family, because my, my kids are fine, but my uncle has got the same thing as me, but he's got it with numbers. Like, it gets, like, I don't know, like, 12 and 21 mixed up and things like that. Right, I, I'm, I'm dyslexic. He's a paedophile. <laughs> it's a word I can't spell, obviously. I've got an iPhone because I thought, I thought it would help with my dyslexia because it's got, it's got predictive text. You know what I'm talking about? Autocorrect. We go to write a text, it spells it for you, you send it and think, that's not what I bloody meant. <laughs> right? Like the other night I sent my mate a text. I was like, all right, man, do you want to go for a wank along the river? <laughs> I meant to say canal. <laughs> but the other day my girlfriend went out and when she was out, Right, I did all of the housework, right? I did all of the ironing, all of the dishes, did everything, right? And my girlfriend came home and she looked around the flat, right? And she was delighted, right? She was like, she was like, 
somebody's going to get a blowjob. <laughs> and then went out. <laughs> she went to Weatherspoons. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.